Welcome back for another Top Notch video. This week, guys, we're looking at the 13th of August through the 17th of August. If you have a TSP account, Roth IRA brokerage account, or you have retirement funds, this is the channel for you. We go over the major indices and talk about charts and where markets are headed. If you're interested in making maybe a little more percentage than just sticking it into a life cycle fund or whatnot, this is definitely the channel for you. We follow the CSI and F funds for TSP users and for Roth IRA or uh, brokerage people, we follow the ETFs, IVV, VXF, EFA, and 8GG. What these are is the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, international markets, and bonds. So kind of what we do is we go over a broad general overview and then we get more down, drill more down in specifics with the markets. This site's from TSP Talks. We uh, It's Tom's comments. He kind of gives a general overview. We kind of really like some of the things he said. Some of the things we've noticed for this week is we had two gaps. We still have this gap below and we have this gap above. It looks like he's saying that this gap was filled from above. So it's just kind of channeling in a trend, uh, not a lot of up down movement. Overall, we're still in this giant red band, as you can see here, kind of seeing where that will go from there for the C fund or IVV ETF. Moving on to the S fund. Uh, we've had a lot of it just trading in a channel, uh, kind of like the C fund. Usually the C and S fund do similar things, but we have not been able to really get above that 1460 line on this chart, and it stayed above the 50-day moving average for the most part. So this channel is getting closer and closer. We'll have to see where that goes, and we do have an answer for you guys later on when we look at our other charts. With the I fund, we did see a major breakdown with the I fund. It is continuing to break down in that bear market. Haven't touched it since we got in our, our very small position back in uh, the end of July. And we're seeing some open gaps. It might be a good time to maybe get back into this fund, but based on our other charts, which I'll show you a little later on, probably not. And then we have AGG, which looks like it just broke out from a rally here, which is a good thing, but just keep in mind we have a gap coming back here. So that's our general overview of our charts. Again, this chart is from TSP Talks, and um, Tom does a lot of this work for us, so that our, for, for his channel, for his website. We just use the information to make decisions. So basically, these were the share funds for the week. As you can see, very good, positive week for us, where we were uh, in the C fund and S fund. C fund did a little bit better than that S fund. This is IVV and this is going to be VXF for your ETF. The I fund ended up losing quite a bit for the EFA. Uh, nothing really interesting about that. We kind of knew that was going to happen being in a bear market. It's interesting to see this is sitting so low now, three almost 4%, saw it hit 4% interweek. Uh, so just quite a difference from last year compared to this year and that's why you want to balance your portfolio out every year. Make sure you're not sitting in the wrong funds. That being said, let's go into our uh, analysis of our funds. So this is IVV. As you can see with IVV, we are continuing up on that other chart. We showed you that trend. It's right in the middle of those two trends. We're really, really hoping to see new highs. And based off our other charts, which we have right here for you guys, IVV with where we think is headed next with probability wise we are still doing well in the weekly charts um, it was all over the place this week but this is why we have charts so that the charts can um, kind of decipher through all this activity and we can go from there as you can see we're at 256 and we went to 301 so we increased there on our weekly charts so that's a very good thing on our two-day chart we are still declining um, we're hoping on the, the Monday bar, which will be the same bar as this Friday bar, will increase. Uh, it's getting very close, so hopefully we'll see a, a reversal on this chart for the most part. As we see with the four hour, we did just cross, so it's a good likelihood that we could see reversal on our two day chart, which would be great. Most of our funds for top notch are in the C fund, so we're just waiting to see what will happen with that, but overall, uh, with a positive green week and with our positive green bars, we feel very good about this fund. Moving on to VXF or the S fund. As you can see with the S fund, we had that cup and handle formation, and now we have another cup and handle formation. I Usually that's a very bullish formation, but for whatever reason, markets are very, they're struggling hardcore to get above the uh, $22 line, one, one $22 line. It just, it's been sitting 
at this line ever since uh, mid-June and just has not been able to get above it. We are coming, the indices are starting to get very cramped in here as long as our, and along with our trend line. So I'm really hoping to see it break out towards the upside in regards to this up here towards our pink line. So we'll have to see if that ends up happening. On our charts, we were decreasing with negative energy for a while, and we saw a very positive thing. It's, it looked like a very, that blue line was gonna end up crossing that red line, and we are now decreasing with our energy. So good place to have your funds. Uh, we're decreasing on the, the weekly chart, and we are also increasing on the two-day chart. So not a bad place to have funds. I think this is a decent place. I don't think we'll see a breakdown from here based off our charts. I really think we'll see it start to swing more towards the upside of the $22, $23 line and continue to rise. But we'll have to wait and see. Markets can do anything. Moving back to EFA or the I fund, like we said, it um, is in a, it's, I, I, would, I would say it's a bear market at this point. This fund has gone from lower highs every single time to lower lows every single time. It is not doing well. The dollar is rallying and that is not helping this fund. And as you can see with EFA, we were coming out of the woods with our energy and we had uh, a reversal on the, our energy. And usually when we have a big weekly reversal like that, we're in for a lot more pain. So I would stay away from EFA at this time or the I fund. I would not be putting anything towards that fund. Even on a two day chart, we're looking pretty nasty. We're even outside the Bollinger Bands here. Um, not somewhere you wanna have your money at this time. The last chart we'll look at is bonds or AGG. As you can see, we are jumping out with bonds. We are above our moving averages. Things look good. We do have a little gap here like I showed earlier. So that is a little bit concerning. Where do we look for our charts with bonds? We are at we are it looks like we just had a negative reversal for bonds so that's a great thing i don't think this is a bad place to have your money at especially if we can hold that breakout which we've been seeing so um i, I think that could definitely increase in the future especially if we keep that in uh if, as i just keep a very close eye on the two-day chart this is what you're going to want to watch on that two-day chart we're doing pretty well there but as you well know um, we have good charts with the C fund and the S fund or IVV and VXF, Dow Jones and the S&P 500. So I just, with them outperforming bonds this entire year, what would you rather have? Bond, uh, the better performer, the, the one that's, two, both of them are performing well, but would you have the one that's performing better than the other? I would. So I would just stick with uh, stocks for now instead of bonds. If we see that change for stocks, we could definitely probably see us migrating to AGG with a positive picture here. But for right now, we are not going to be doing that. So that is all of our funds for this week. Of course, I will show you guys where we are allocated and whatnot. Please like, subscribe, or share the video. We really appreciate you guys watching. If you have questions for me, please write them in the comments below. My question for you guys is, do you think this market will continue to rally for the end of August and September, or do you think it will start to come down? Some of the uh, price percentages look pretty overbought, so we'll have to see what happens. We're also seeing a very, uh, the yield curve is starting to flatten out a little bit. But overall, where we have our funds at is still in the 66% C fund and 33% S fund or IVV and VXF. With IVV having its best week this week, we had a good win for us here on this channel, and so that was great. Once again, I really do appreciate you guys, and uh, that's another Top Notch video. We'll see you guys next time.